hi guys hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be making a goosey soup yeah so as you saw now that's that's my bowl of tomatoes and onion with three scotch bonnet pepper and I, was, I already have my meat on fire i'm just going to season it with the uh, just salt and mangy cube guys as we go on this recipe i'm going to be showing you all the ingredients we are using today okay i didn't line them up properly because i was so busy on that day okay and i was in a hurry to finish the food fast because i was so hungry so what i'm doing here is i'm just going to uh, boil the tomatoes and pepper alongside with the meat just for about five minutes so here i said i got i was going to be showing you guys my ingredients so here i have just two uh, chicken wings which i grilled in the oven with one uh, one fish that's one a uh, mackerel so coming back to the pot now as you can see the tomatoes and pepper are cooked i'm just going to scoop them away from the pot and we'll go ahead with other things okay as you see so right now the tomatoes and pepper are out of the pot i'm just going to give it a little quick stir and uh, cover the meat to cook before i cook the tender okay till the meat is cooked till tender so while that is cooking i'm going to be uh peeling off the skin of the tomatoes you see that that's not what i want i thought that can make the soup look um i don't know what to say but i don't really like it so i have to remove the peel of the tomatoes that's our final result beautiful look look at the shafts so all these are what i'm going to be blending half red onions uh one sweet pepper two scotch bonnet pepper and about five seed of tomatoes so here i soaked my bitter leaf because it's dried i soaked it in uh, hot water before i will be using it and here is my uh, cubes my maggie cubes my melon blended melon and the crayfish okay and this is my red oil my red palm oil okay so those are my ingredients so i've gone ahead guys to blend the peppers and i'm just trying to boil it down okay so that i can make the cooking faster I can make it very fast so that's why i'm boiling it down there's no other reason so the meat now is out of the pot as you see and uh, we are going to start the cooking right away our pot is on fire so i'm just going to add uh, a little bit of red oil that's my red palm oil as you can see it's not much it's not much it's just a little to cover the pot because my melon is very small i just bought two packs so now i have my half uh, red onions that I remained I slice into chunks and they uh, I'm just going to fry it for about two to three minutes before I add my peppers okay so now I have my pepper in I'm still going to fry this guys mind you as you are doing this make sure you keep your keep an eye on it okay so I'm using a non-stick pot that's why the food the cooking was fantastic okay if you are doing this with uh, any other pots please keep an eye on it continue to stay so here yeah, i've already gone ahead to make my blended melon into a thick paste so that is it you see the consistency of it you see the consistency of it so i've done that now so let's come back to our pots yeah our tomatoes and pepper are frying nicely oof my mommy so right now i'm just going to add a little bit of crayfish guys i love crayfish in my soups 
so i want to add a little bit so that i can release its flavor together with the tomatoes and onions and peppers so everything can incorporate together before i add my melon okay so after i added that i just cover it for one minute before i add the the next thing so i'll just give it a quick stir yeah it's ready <laughs> so as you see now guys i have my melon inside the pot already i'm just going to mix this very well to together with the tomatoes pepper and onions and uh, crayfish inside so i'm just going to mix it very well till it becomes it comes together just just like this okay <laughs> you see just like this so as as it is now we are going to continue to stir it stir 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 keep an eye on this okay is this pot i'm using is a non-stick pan and it's new okay i've not really used it a lot that's why it didn't burn the the melon this melon easily get burnt okay keep an eye on it stir continuously okay so we are just going to fry until it is just become like this you see it has a uh, like uh, crumbs then you can add back your meat and just tear a little bit not like stir 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 just tear it a little bit and then uh, cover it yeah we are back to our pot guys so you see the pot is bubbling nicely we are going to check this out by stirring it up a little bit and we'll add other things that the pot is calling <laughs> so right now we are going to add our fish and the two chicken wings which i grilled earlier on so i didn't want to debone the, the fish that was why i cut it before grilling it so i can i can see it very well inside <laughs> i don't have kids yet so i can i can cook anyhow i want to okay so but if you have kids you can debone it so that to avoid story that such just give this a quick stir and uh, i'm going to be adding uh, more crayfish at this point we are going to be adding all our seasonings okay so i've added the crayfish now i'm going to be adding just a half teaspoon of salt just a little bit of salt you remember we already have salt inside and two cubes two knock two maggi cubes and then just stir it a little bit stir it a little bit just be careful stirring it this time because of the fish so guys if at this point you like you like your soup very very thick you have uh, you can skip this process of adding water for me the soup was too thick so i had i had to add a little bit of water okay i added a little bit of water so i'm going to cover this and then uh, allow it to cook guys as i'm watching this video and editing it my mouth is just watering <laughs> i feel like eating already oh my god so here i'm trying to wash the bitter leaf because it's is it, it was not washed before as you can see it's still for me so i washed it very well and i'm going to add it into the pot without stirring mind you guys without stirring because the thing was still bitter so i just add it in and cover the pot so when it cooks then i will open it before i stir it okay so right now is the best time to stay Ooh. Ooh. guys i feel like eating no can i just put my hand inside this screen now and and carry this pot of soup and start eating it <laughs> so just give that a quick stir and cover it for about five to six minutes to cook again because the bitter leaf is fresh the bitter leaf is fresh and uh, it's dry so just cover it a little bit since if you are using fresh vegetables 
just put it when you know that it's remaining five minutes for you to remove it or three minutes to remove it okay so it's because i'm using uh dried uh bitter leaf that was why i had to leave it for this long okay so it's ready please guys subscribe to my youtube channel for more recipes like leave a comment down below and give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video bye